Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. This is my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. Bought it in 2012. It's been a good gun. If you recall back in 2012, this was the hottest gun in the market. By far. It was right in the midst of the single stack 9mm handguns that became so popular. This and the Springfield Armory XES and 45. Those two guns were huge. $600 people were paying for this. You know, I mean, that's a lot of money for this handgun. Especially after the years had passed and we saw that it went down to maybe like $350. You know, people were paying $600. And just to get your hands on one of these was a big deal. But now it's time for me to say bye-bye. I need to make room in the safe because a lot of great guns are coming out these days. And I've got uh, more than a couple saves and, and they're filling up pretty quick but the draw that this had above some of the other single stacks was that not only did it have a seven round mag but it had this eight round mag and that was a big deal you know three inch barrel performed great throughout the years never had a problem with it i had a holster made immediately when i got it back in 2012 was a tough time for guns and when smith came out with this it was a huge deal you can see i have shield on there it's a multi-holster I have several multi-holsters, so I have to label them. But I remember, I, I called my local gun store. I said, do you have the M&P Shield? They said, we've got one left. I said, take it out of the case. I'm, I'm on my way now. Take it out of your showcase. I am coming. They said, you got 20 minutes. I said, I'll be there in 10. And I picked this up for four and a quarter. And at that time, it was a steal. Actually, I think it was 450 but you may be asking why are you getting rid of that you know it's a good gun you already said it's a good gun it's performed well it's got the eight and seven round magazine why are you getting rid of that well it might be obvious i don't know perhaps it is but i got the shield plus also a nine millimeter now this was available in nine and forty right now this is only available in nine but this is the shield plus right here i've got the 13 round mag this is not a review just a overview and then it also comes with a 10 round mag now the the draw here is that here's that same holster it does share the exact same holster because if we look at the slide we can see that they are pretty identical not a great difference at all so that's good and bad you say well why is it bad well you know if you look at the sig p365 by the way Thank you, SIG, for starting this whole double stack, higher capacity, 9mm handgun in a subcompact size. That like, SIG started it. But SIG came out, they designed a brand new gun. You know, then uh, Springfield Armory with the Hellcat, brand new gun. Ruger Max 9, brand new gun. Now the Taurus GX4, brand new gun. This is not so much a brand new gun. So it's... It's exciting because of the mag capacity. You know, it's got that 2.0 grip on there. Okay, the stippling is more textured. And they improved the trigger. And of course, the magazine capacity, 13 and 10. So it's not, it's not a new gun. It doesn't carry that same type of excitement, I guess, is a good way to say it. But it does align well. Now, I've had so many people say, hey, you know, the Ruger Max 9, I want to see how it aligns with the Shield Plus. The Hellcat, you name it. P365, now the GX4. How does that align with the Shield Plus? Well, that's what I did. I got the Shield Plus. <laughs> so we could check some of that out. Now, many people are probably wondering, well, what would you pay for that? Well, you know, if I tell you, sometimes I go on to the bad boy list on YouTube and the videos don't end up on half the people's subscription feeds. That's what happens. It's not, I'm not worried about it getting demonetized for the monetary purposes. I don't like it that the video gets squandered in the mix because it's demonetized and that's what happens. But I ended up picking this up as is. Now this is not a performance center. Okay, you can see it has the three inch barrel, not the four inch barrel, which the Performance Center four inch barrel has the optic ready choice on there, or slide cut, I should say. Fiber optic sights and all that, those are mid to upper 600s. I picked this up at 479. And I'm not going to say where I got it from, but I might post a or pin a comment 
so that you can see they're sold out i checked today they're sold out at that price 479 was a steal much like this was for 450 back in 2012 but um all things considered it was a pretty good deal considering that you check gun broker you check you check everywhere you know you're looking at between 550 and three or 550 and 600 dollars and that's what the shield plus is going for then the performance center models are going for about 150 to 200 dollars more especially if you want the four inch barrel one and the optic slide cut but uh anyways that's what I, that's how i got around to this it does have a flat trigger there okay i said i wasn't going to review it but i guess i'll show a little bit it does have the flat trigger it does have a trigger bar safety opposed to the hinged trigger that does not have that but they, they did a nice job with it it just doesn't carry that same amount of flare but i'm still looking forward to doing some comparisons primarily and i think it's a pretty decent gun all things considered if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe